when they become teens, they have to learn to break away from the parent a little bit so they can start learning how to, it's called individuate and it's a psych psychological word mostly, but you know they have to learn how to do things on their own and sometimes it is disobedient. We hear about big stories of someone, you know, a teen being very disobedient, but technically they're not. They, they will do things you don't want them to do. Well, of course, in a negative sense where discipline has been broken, parents become very irate and they want to give a, a really hard punishment when their teens are not following their order. And parents are stressed now and they have dem high demands on themselves to work, pay bills, and they can overreact because of all the other things that are falling down on them. And then they also can overreact because they're scared of what can happen to their kids if they don't do the right things or go to school and, and graduate from high school. Well, I love them, I care for them, but we do get into a lot of disagreements when we don't see eye to eye. Uh, teenagers sometimes would just be really weird, just act weird in ways that uh, we don't understand. But then I think back to when I was that age, I did weird things too, you know, sometimes the way you dress is just weird. I try to tell my kids, it's like, that don't go, that's weird looking, and they don't care, it's just what they want to do. <laughs> if a kid is getting bullied at school, they don't want to go to school. So um, they will start cutting school, or their bodies will actually start creating a, a sick feeling to about going to school and they know tell their parents, I feel bad, I don't feel good. And, and what's really going on is that there's just a lot of anxiety around going to school and it becomes, starts having physical uh, symptoms and physical impact on the health. Of Try to have an agreement because we react to things but there's usually a deeper issue underneath there. So we run support groups for girls and boys and it's a place, a very safe space and place where they can talk about family issues, rebelliousness issues, what's happening in their school relationships, what's happening in their, you know, uh, peer relationships in, in, a, in, a way, uh, in a way that they feel that they can speak in a safe space. Uh, teenagers, you know, and I'm talking about you know, really like say 12 years old and up, is, um, have so much uh, curiosity and desire to explore and a desire to just have live life and want to have fun. That's like the most precious gift ever. And uh, to, willing to try new things. Um, and and, and uh, yeah, I think that's a real special and magical part of life. The words can't describe how much I love them. They play a huge role in my life. Um, they're like role models to me and I do look up to them a lot. My mom's really cool. She's like a role model. And my dad is also, he's someone I look up to. He's like a really strong person, but I mean, yeah, I love both of them. <laughs>